Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to use TileMap to edit your own level. Before starting this tutorial, I would like to say so sorry for a long time update my YouTube channel. I will continue to publish my YouTube tutorial at least one video each week. Thanks for your subscribe. Okay, let's get started. Now we have opened the Unity Hub. My Unity version is 2019. You can choose to the Unity 2018 as well, that doesn't matter. And then we choose the 2D mode because we use the Telemap 2D today. In this tutorial, I would like to use some sprites. I have uploaded the sprites on the description below. Also, if my accent is not clear, I also share my text version of this tutorial to my Evernote website. Okay, let's get started. So let's create one folder called sprites. Then drag the Telemap sprites inside the sprite folder. First thing first, let's set up the sprites in Unity. Each time, I would like to check the sprite's type and the pixel per unit. We can open the sprite editor and check how many pixels in each unit. Then, we can give it to the right number. We can use the grid by cell size to slice the sprite. We can see if we set the pixels per unit to 100, which means each unit will contain more pixels. In other words, the sprite will be smaller than you think. So let's turn it to the 16 pixels. Now let's make our tile map. Let's right click on hierarchy, choose 2D object, tile map. We can see many grid lines appear on the sinks view. Under the grid, we have one child. We call it tile map. Open the tile palette window. If you don't have the tile palette window, go to the window button on the top of the unit, choose the 2D tile palette. So what's the tile palette? Tile palette is the palette can save many tiles in Unity. I have a draw one image for easy understanding their relationship. On the beginning, we have the sprite. Each sprite can be dragged to the tile palette. After that, each sprite will transfer to a tile in Unity. For example, we have one multiple type sprite, which means after we drag the sprites to the tile palette, we will have many tiles as well. Then in the tile palette window, we can use the brush tool to edit each tile to the tile map. This is the order of the tile map. After understanding that, let's create our first palette called Dark Level. Then drag the sprites to the palette window. I will recommend you to create one new folder to save these tiles because there are so many tiles later. You can see that there are many files need to process. After that, we can use the pen tool to brush our tile map. Pay attention to here. We have named our tile map to ground tile map. Look at the palette window. The active tile map is also the ground tile map. This is very important in later. Okay, let's use your imagination to edit your level ground. Also, for more details, I would like to edit the path edges in this video.
After that, we want to create one mountain above the ground. You can try to drag one mountain to edit first. You can see that there is some dark blue colors on the corner of the mountain. However, we want some transparent corner in our mountain. So we have to make another tile map. The reason is that tile map is like the sorting layer. Each tile map can render their own layer. So let's create another tile map and change the name to object. Attention here, when we click the object tile map, our active tile map will turn to object. When we press the ground tile map in hierarchy, the active tile map in tile map palette window will turn to object. It's very handy for user to know which tile map we are editing and rendering. Now we can easily to see there is one mountain above the ground area. Okay, let's in the object tile map to create one of our castle. If you want the front tower is overlayer the bank tower, you can create another tile map called object overlayer tile map. The reason I create another tile map is that later I will give these two tile map one collider. Our player cannot walk through this object. You can adjust each sprite in the same view. If you find you missing some sprites in Unity and you cannot see those sprites, the reason is that we forgot to set the sorting layer in tile map. The Unity have to know the rendering order. As my habit, I would like to set the background and the player basic to sorting layer. That's it. You can build what you want in this level now. Also, in many RPG games, we would like to set the one dark space to limit our player movement. Okay, let's create one collider to our environment. Choose our object tile map. Because this is the tile map component, we have to edit the tile map collider 2D. We will see there are a bunch of green lines on the tile map, which will cost your so many performance in your game. You can choose to edit another component called Composite Collider 2D to it. But you have to check two things. First, when you edit the Composite Collider 2D, Unity will automatically add the radio body 2D to your game object. The default, body type, the default body type is dynamic, which means when you play the games, all of the objects in the tile maps will be fall down because of the gravity. 
So you have to change the dynamic to the kinematic or just turn the gravity to zero. The second thing you have to check use by compositity because you really use it. Okay, use the sand step to build the collider to the object over layer tile map. Now we can use our first tile map. We can create one player to test it. I will create one square to control our player movement. That's it. This is what we want to do. If you want to control your camera, follow your player, you can use the Cine machine. In here, I've simply used the code to control it. Alright, this is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will continue the tile map topic and introduce some animations and rule tile in Unity. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, hope smash the likes and subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.